to compete with General Motors for sales supremacy in the US car industry this year, Toyota brought out the big and small guns. They are most likely launching yet another attack because it did not seize the lead at half-time. Honestly, the Japanese carmaker has released an overwhelming number of novelties. The sedan CUV Crown, the Corolla Cross Hybrid, which will take the place of the outgoing CHR Subcompact, the whole Corolla Nightshade family, the 2024 Grand Highlander, the trio of GR Special Editions, as well as the Ultimate Super Heroes, the Tacoma and Land Cruiser, will all be available in the future. And keep in mind that these are not all the significant innovations. In any case, the business is not finished yet, because there are still more heroes to take out, including the next forerunner and the most recent Camry. However, it turns out that the rumor mill is only repackaging an old whisper in fresh packaging. Recently, there have been many rumors circulating about the potential rebirth of the historic stout nameplate for a compact pickup truck specifically created for the American market, as it became evident that the Hyundai Santa Cruz was no match for the electric Ford Maverick in the battle for unibody compact pickup truck supremacy. Now that the excitement over the 2024 Land Cruiser has subsided a bit, a new rumor has surfaced suggesting that Toyota is considering a simpler move a pickup truck variant of the Corolla Cross. It's true that this is a few steps down from a prospective vintage-inspired rebirth of the Stout brand, however it is also less expensive and more technologically feasible. Regarding the Corolla Cross's design philosophy, experts agree that it looks fantastic as a conventional crossover SUV, however it was never the intention of its creators to use the vehicle as the foundation for a small pickup truck. It is therefore unrelated to the practical style that these models require in order to draw in customers. Just compare the Santa Cruz and Maverick cases to see which is more elegant and where the deliveries fall in the middle. In fact, the Maverick, which has a more rugged appearance and is slightly more cheap, is selling far better. However, it made sense that the rumor of a pickup truck version of the Corolla would spread to the creative arena of those who make digital automotive entertainment. More specifically, Kleber Silva, a virtual artist based in Brazil who goes by K Design AG on social media, seized the opportunity and decided to try his hand at creating a computer generated image of the impending Corolla cross pickup truck with some added flair. In order to create the style, the four-door pickup truck appeal was taken from the existing Fiat Toro compact car while the front is clear and straightforward, directly grabbed from the ordinary Corolla Cross crossover SUV. The pixel artist, however, did not stop there. He also took a swipe at the stylish 2024 Toyota, Land Cruiser, and grabbed the concept for upright LED taillights from there. How about you? Do you like it? This would only be possible if Toyota was able to combine the powerful 196-horsepower hybrid powertrain with the potential Corolla Cross. The MSRP would then need to be reduced to Ford Maverick XL hybrid levels. 2024 model year starts at $24,900, which is probably next to impossible, given that the 2023 Corolla Cross hybrid crossover SUV already starts at a considerably higher threshold of around $28,000. The Toyota Corolla is expected to get a new generation in 2025, two years before the rumored truck goes on sale, according to the same report. Given the tough competition in the compact pickup market, Toyota will probably give the new car a distinctive look rather than using body panels from the plusher Corolla and Corolla Cross models. Although it is too soon to talk specifics, the launch's date leads us to suspect that the vehicle might have a hybrid or plug-in hybrid powertrain. This supposition is supported by the fact that the TNGAC architecture has already shown to work with both configurations. This isn't the first time that Toyota's intentions for a smaller pickup have come to light. Two senior representatives from Toyota North America addressed the potential for such an offering in an interview with Motor Trend last year. And while waiting for it, let's check for the 2023 Toyota Corolla Cross. Despite only being introduced in November of 2022, 
the Toyota Corolla Cross isn't exactly having trouble attracting Australian consumers, as evidenced by the almost 2,600 units sold in 2022 and the 511 units purchased in February of 2023, the competitively priced MGZ S20 2,466 sales in 2022, the stylish Mazda CX30 13,891, the veteran Mitsubishi ASX 12,753, the soon-to-be-replaced Hyundai Kona 11,538, and the recently refreshed Kia Seltos 8504 are just a few of the Corolla Cross rivals in the small sub segment. Whether the Corolla Cross will surpass the best-selling vehicles in 2023 is difficult to predict at this point, despite the fact that its February performance exceeded the CX-30s 481. Others performed better, including the Kona 659, ASX 642, Eclipse Cross 823, the new Qashqai 682 and the MGZ S2047, an undisputed leader of the value segment. We now have the question, is the Corolla Cross simply not attractive enough to compete? Although many purchasers are motivated by either price or style, as evidenced by the success of the Corolla Cross's main competitors, the hybrid specification has proven to be popular and Toyota's reputation for durability always helps with a buying choice. A 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine and three electric motors make up the same powertrain used by all Corolla Cross hybrid models. All-wheel drive is standard, and the powertrain generates a combined 196 horsepower. Compared to the non-hybrid variant, the end effect is a considerably faster SUV. Reviews claims that the hybrid reached 60 miles per hour in 7.3 seconds as opposed to the normal vehicle's sluggish 9.2 seconds. Although the hybrid's suspension has been tuned to be a little bit livelier, the cross is still quite tamed, so don't anticipate GR Corolla levels of driving enjoyment. Although the EPA hasn't provided the Corolla Cross Hybrid with official fuel economy figures, we anticipate estimations as high as 45 miles per gallon city and 38 miles per gallon highway. The Corolla Cross Hybrid will seem comfortable to drivers who are accustomed to the Corolla sedan. There is nothing stylish about the dashboard design, the materials used inside, or the convenience features. They are almost identical to those of the four-door model. However, the Corolla Cross's larger proportions provide for greater capacity for freight as well as more room for passengers, especially in the back seat. The top spec XSE model has nice looking for leather upholstery, heated front seats, a sunroof, ambient interior lighting, and a flip down center armrest for passengers in the back seat. Lower trims are much more simple. The latest Toyota software interface is running on an 8.0-inch square infotainment display that protrudes from the dashboard of the Corolla Cross Hybrid. While wireless smartphone charging, rear seat USB ports, and a JBL sound system are optional, Sirius XM satellite radio, Apple CarPlay, and Roid Auto, and these features are all standard. Toyota will keep up its recent practice of standardizing driver assistance equipment with the Corolla Cross by providing a suite of systems on all grades that includes adaptive cruise control, automated emergency braking, and lane departure warning. And so, what do you think of a Toyota Corolla Cross pickup truck? Is this feasible than the rumored rebirth of the Toyota Stout as Ford Maverick's biggest rival? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.